Boruto Chapter 85 begins with a flashback showcasing Boruto and Sasuke engage in rigorous training. Notably, Boruto's growth is evident, mirroring the Uchiha hairstyle of teenage Sasuke. Boruto playfully inquires about Sasuke's well-being as a student, suggesting he has mastered all of Sasuke's techniques within a year. Sasuke responds solemnly, acknowledging Boruto's rapid progress, labeling him a genius in his own right. Despite Boruto's disbelief, Sasuke emphasizes the need for continuous training to strengthen both his mind and techniques. Their narrative then transitions to Sasuke and Boruto navigating through the forest. Sasuke reflects on how Boruto's eyes remind him of the person who guided him away from the wrong path. He discloses that he agreed to train Boruto because Sarada said to save him. He also states that Boruto and Sarada are the key to saving the world. Fast forwarding, Boruto and Sasuke find themselves outnumbered by Grimclaws and Code. Boruto manages to damage Code's eye, but Sasuke urgently instructs him to flee, acknowledging Boruto's current inability to win the battle. Despite prior training, Boruto is not yet strong enough. However, we know he eventually becomes powerful enough to overwhelm Code with ease, as witnessed in the initial chapters of the Boruto time skip arc. Returning to the present, Boruto rejoins the battle, discovering Sasuke sealed within a tree. Expressing determination, Boruto assures Sasuke of his reliability and takes up his sword. The focus shifts to the Hidden Leaf Village, where Konohamaru, Shikadai, and team confront a tree containing Moegi Kazumatsuri, who was previously sealed away. Surprisingly, the Sentinel God Tree female from Chapter 84 turns out to be a copy of Moegi. The conscious God Trees gather, revealing their plans to consume Boruto and Code due to their Otensuki blood. Jura expresses a desire to devour Naruto, stating their evolution demands following instincts. Sasuke's clone announces a target, Sarada Uchiha, as the scene shifts back to Ida observing from a distance. A god tree named Bugged enters Ida's mind and states he is coming for her. We return to the Hidden Leaf Village where Amino and Sumire engage in a conversation about Boruto and Kawaki's karma. Amino explains that based on his memories, Boruto should possess the karma he modified. Additionally, he recalls teaming up with Boruto and Kojin to combat Ishiki. However, they are aware that someone has tampered with Kawaki's karma and the responsible party remains unknown. Amado confesses to Sumire that he is likely the one who made the modifications to Kawaki's body. Despite this acknowledgement, he emphasizes that he has no memory of the act, suggesting that someone has overwritten his memories. It is crucial to note that Sumire and Sarada, along with Kawaki, Ida, and Damon, are the only individuals unaffected by the power that rewrote the story of the world. The revelation of Amado arriving at this conclusion independently is surprising and is compounded by the fact that Shikamaru and Sai are spying on him and overheard the entire conversation, attempting to decipher the implications of what they just heard. The chapter concludes with Sarada and Sumire discussing Amado's admission, when Boruto arrives behind them, and in that moment, Sarada, overwhelmed with emotion, rushes into his arms. Boruto apologizes for being late, as they embrace one another, leaving readers eagerly anticipating the next chapter.